pag-usapan po natin ay tungkol sa adoption. Tungkol uh, sa tinatawag na adoption, ang salitang adoption ay ito po ay isang membership in God's family. Membership in God's family at may mga ilang uh, bagay po tayo na pag-uusapan, may may kinalaman sa tinatawag na adoption. So ito po ay uh, makikita natin mga ilang uh, uh, mga ilang evidence or mga uh, bagay na mang, manggagaling po sa Biblia. May mga scriptural evidence for uh, the word adoption. Adoption is an act of God uh, whereby He makes us members of His family. So, yun, yun ang tinatawag na adoption. Is an act of God whereby He makes us members of His family. For in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. According to Galatians chapter 3 verse 23 to 26. Galatians chapter number 3 23 to 26 But before faith came we were kept under the law shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith But after that faith is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster, for ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. And po, for in Christ Jesus, you are all sons of God through faith. So, sa pamagitan ng ating paniniwala kay Kristo, we are called the sons of God or the children of God. Under the law ay hindi uh, hindi po yun uh, ginagamit yung word na adoption. So ito ay uh, ginagamit lang po itong word na adoption after the death of Jesus Christ. Ito po. After the, the death of Jesus Christ, ginamit lang po yung word na adoption. So papaano ta- tayo nagiging uh, adopted sons of God? sa pamagitan ng ating paniniwala kay Kristo. You are no longer a slave but a son, and if a son, then an heir. So, hindi na tayo uh, a slave or alipin, kundi tayo ay tinatawag na anak ng Diyos. At dahil anak ng Diyos, tayo ay tagapagmana. Galatians chapter 4, 4 to 7. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth His Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because ye are sons, God hath sent forth the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father, wherefore thou art no more a servant but a son and if a son then an heir of God through Christ Jesus so napakaliwanag po na ang mga mananampalataya sa panahon natin ngayon under the dispensation of grace under the dispensation of grace ay tinatawag sons tinatawag sons sa pamagitan ng ating paniniwala kay Kristo. Sa so, pamagitan ng ating paniniwala sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Hesus, tayo ay tinatawag sons of God or the children of God. Then isa pa na pag-uusapan natin, adoption follows conversion. So itong adoption follows conversion and is an outcome of saving faith. So yun po, yung salitang adoption follows uh, conversion and is an outcome of saving faith. In response to our trusting in, in Christ, God has adopted us into His family. 
Dahil nga hindi naman tayo part talaga sa plan ng Panginoon o sa family ng Panginoon. So, dito po ay nagiging bahagi tayo sa plano ng ating Panginoon because of our faith. Sa, sa, dahil sa ating pananampalataya, tayo ay nag-ibilang o nagiging bahagi sa plano ng ating Panginoon. Because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of His Son okay, into our hearts crying about Father. Yun po, because you are sons, dahil naniniwala tayo, tawag sa atin ay sons of God, ipinadala niya ang kanyang Espiritu, the Spirit of His Son, in our hearts. At ito po yung reason kung bakit natin, uh, bakit natin sinabi or sasabihin, Abba Father, in Galatians chapter 4 verse 6. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the, the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Yun po, adoption follows conversion and is an outcome of saving faith. Next is, adoption is distinct from justification. So, ang adoption ay distinct from justification. So, ito po ay iba. Hindi po natin pwedeng uh, i-gawing uh, parehas ang salitang ito. Pag sinasabing uh, adoption, ito po ay, ay uh, distinct po sa tinatawag na justification. Kaya, kailangan po na ma-identify po natin kung ano ba yung justification at ano naman ang tinatawag na adoption. Adop adoption is a privilege. Okay? Adoption is a privilege that comes to us at the time we become Christians. Ganun po. Kasi, remember na ang mga Gentiles, tandaan po natin, yan, ang mga Gentiles ay hindi part sa talagang plano ng ating Panginoon pero sa pamagitan ng ating pananampalataya dahil sa ating paniniwala tayo ay nagiging bahagi sa plano ng Panginoon kaya ang tawag sa atin ay adoption through the Lord Jesus Christ ang tinatawag kasi talagang sons of God yung uh, chosen people ay ang bayang Israel ay ang bayang Israel Talagang sila po ang uh, tinatawag na chosen or the children of the kingdom or the children of God ay itong bayang Israel. Pero tayo naman, under this present time, tayong mga hintel, ang tawag sa atin ay adopted or the adoption okay? through our Lord Jesus Christ. So dahil tayo ay, ay uh, tinatawag anak, ng ating Panginoon ay tagapagmana din po tayo sa uh, tinatawag na heavenly blessings or the spiritual blessings dito po. Kaya under the, the time pass, under the, the Israel's program or the prophetic program, ang Israel ay tinatawag silang uh, uh, children of the kingdom. Sila po ay uh, pinangakuhan ng ating Panginoon sa kapanahonan noon. Puntahan lang natin ang uh, kunting uh, ano po yung background dito po sa Israel sa Exodus chapter 19 verses 5 to 6. Now therefore if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. And these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. And then in 1 Peter chapter 2. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of the darkness into his marvelous light. And po ang bayang Israel. Sila po ay tinatawag chosen people, chosen nation, children of the kingdom. 
ang bayang Israel sila po. Pero tayong mga Gentiles noon ay hindi tayo bahagi o part sa plano ng Panginoon kasama ang Israel dito. Ito po ang uh, ginawa ng ating Panginoong Isus through His death. Tayo po na mga naniniwala sa kanyang ginawa sa cross ay adapted. Yan. So, yun po yung word na adoption. We are made spiritually alive, able to relate to God in prayer and worship, and able to uh, hear His word with receptive hearts. Yan po. We are made spiritually alive. Na dati, ay we are dead spiritually. Pero, uh, after the death of Jesus Christ, and then, uh, nung tayo inaniwala, nag-respond sa Ibanghelyo, we are made or spiritually alive, able to relate to God in prayer and worship, and able to hear His word with a receptive heart. So, yun po, dahil tayo ay nasa Panginoon na. Then, the justification has to do with our standing before God's law. So, sa justification na uh, 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 status po natin has to do with our standing before God's law. So, yun po. Pero, hindi po ito ang, uh, wala po itong kinalaman sa, dito po sa uh, word na adoption. Bakit po? The adoption has to do with our relationship. The adoption has to do with our relationship with God as our Father. Okay? And, and in adoption, we are given many of the greatest blessings that we will know for all eternity. So, ang adoption po ay hindi pinag-usapan dito yung God's law or uh, standard of God's righteousness, kundi ang pinag-usapan ay the relationship with God. Our relationship to God, yun po yung pinag-usapan at mayroon po tayong relationship and God given uh, given oh, many the many greatest uh, blessings that we will know for all eternity. Ito po ay mangyari sa eternity sa heaven kung tayo uh, kung makasama natin ang Panginoon magpakailanman ito po, ibibigay niya lahat ng blessings, heavenly blessings for all eternity. So, napakaganda po na pangako ng ating Panginoon while we are here on earth, nangako ang Panginoon pagdating po ng mga pagdating ang panahon na yan na makakasama natin ang Panginoon ay ibibigay po niya uh, yung mga uh, tinatawag na uh, greatest blessings, spiritual blessings. Another thing is the privileges of adoption. May mga privilege po. Uh, bilang tayo po ay uh, uh, sons of God, da, tayo ay tinatawag anak ng Diyos, mayroon pong mga privilege. So ito po yung napakaganda po. At wala noon na hindi tayo naniniwala sa ating Panginoong Jesus, ay wala po tayong tinatawag na privilege privileges o mga uh, benefits or anumang mga uh, na magkaroon tayo wala po dito kasi tayo ay Gentiles without God according to Ephesians chapter 2 basahin, basahin lang po natin ang Ephesians chapter 2 11 to 12 Wherefore remember that you being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcisions in the flesh made by hands, that at the time ye were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenant of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. So wala po tayong tinatawag na mga privileges or privileges dahil tayo po ay hiwalay sa Creator Hiwalay sa ating Panginoon, without God, without Christ, no hope, aliens, and strangers from the covenant of promise. Ganun po tayo uh, sa panahon noon, pero ang good news nga dahil sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Jesus, sa paniniwala po natin sa ginawa ng ating Panginoong Jesus, tayo po ay naging uh, co-heirs 
tagapagmana kasama ni Kristo. So ito po yung mga mga privileges, the privileges of uh, adoption, able to speak to God. Okay? Able to speak to God and relate to him as a good and loving father. Yun po yung uh, uh, privilege na isa sa uh, ma, uh, makita natin at uh, makamta natin bilang uh, sons of God. Ito po yung mga privilege na uh, talagang makamtan po natin. Able to speak to God and relate to Him as a good and loving father. And then no longer as slaves but sons. Hindi na po tayo alipin kundi anak. According to Galatians 4.7 Wherefore thou art no more a servant but a son, and if a son, then an heir of God through Christ Jesus. So tagapagmana tayo kasama ni Kristo. We are no more uh, longer a slaves but a sons. Wow, napakaganda po yun. Hindi na po slaves ang tawag sa atin or alipin, kundi tayo ay anak ng Diyos. Papaano po yon na tinatawag tayong anak ng Diyos? Sa pamagitan po ng ating paniniwala kay Kristo Jesus. Sa pamagitan ng ating paniniwala sa kanyang ginawa sa cross, tayo ay tinatawag na anak ng Diyos. So, yun po yung reason kung bakit may mga privilege po tayo, mga privileges na able to speak to God. Tayo ay may karapatan na makipag-usap sa ating Panginoon dahil tayo nga ay anak ng Diyos. At hindi na tayo alipin. The Spirit Himself bearing witness with our spirit. So, isa po sa, sa benefits. One of the benefits na uh, makamtan po natin, the Spirit Himself bearing witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. We are the children of God. According to Romans chapter 8, 15 to 16. Romans chapter 8, 15 to 16. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage, again to fear, but Ye have received the spirits of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. So, yun po yung isa, isa sa privilege na uh, talagang makamtan po natin bilang anak ng Diyos. And then, ulitin ko po, fellow ears with Christ, tagapagmana tagapagmana kasama ni Kristo. Kung ano yung mamana ng ating Panginoong Yesus ay ganun din po sa atin. Kung anong matanggap niya, ganun din po sa atin. Bakit? Ku ears or fellow ears according to Romans chapter 8:17. And if children then ears. Okay? Ears of God and joint ears with Christ, if so be that we suffer with Him, that we may be able glorified together. So, a joint ears with Christ. Ayan, tayo po, kasama. Okay, kasama. Kung ano ang matanggap or matatanggap ng ating Panginoon, kasama po tayo. Tayo ay tinatag na ku ears. Maintain pure conduct. So, ito po ang isa pang privilege. To maintain, you have to maintain pure conduct before unbelievers, that you may be blameless and innocent children of God without blemish. Isa po sa benefits po yan na we have to maintain a pure conduct before the unbelievers. Kasi mahirap naman po tayo ay tinatawag anak ng Diyos, tapos yung conduct natin ay hindi maganda. O, yung yung behavior or character natin ay hindi hindi uh, maganda. So, as a children or a, a sons of God, we have to maintain a pure conduct in front or before the unbelievers. Oh, that you may be blameless and innocent children of God without blemish. Philippians chapter 2, 15. 
Philippians chapter 2 verse 15 That ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world. So, magiging ilaw. Mm -hmm. Magiging ilaw tayo sa mundong ito. We have to maintain a, a pure no, conduct noon sa mga unbelievers. Ganun po tayo mga uh, tinatawag na sons of God tayong tinatawag na anak ng Diyos mga mananampalataya body of Christ tinatawag na body we have to maintain a pure conduct in front of the unbelievers so ganun po, kaya ulitin ko po yung mga, uh, mga bagay na ito na talagang napakalaking uh, tulong po sa atin bilang adopted sons of God Ito po, the ad uh, adoptions follows conver conversion and is an outcome of saving faith. And then, adoption is distinct from justification. Ayan, gusto ko lang i-summarize itong uh, pinag-uusapan natin. And the privileges of adoption.